Good morning, YouTube. It's your boy, Zaytoven Fit, and it is currently 7 a.m. in the morning. I've been in and out of sleep all night, uh, just because once you get to a certain leanness and you're so depleted, sleep is like kind of imminent, so you don't really get a lot of sleep. Um, and I've been actually like up, up since about 6 a.m., but I just kind of been sitting in bed, chilling, watching my posing, everything like that. Like right now, I'm completely locked in. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I just weighed myself. I am currently 204.2. We put on a little bit like more weight since last video, um, mostly water. I've definitely gotten a little bit leaner, but my body's such under stress from all the depletion. I kind of crashed my metabolism. So I'm in the process of raising my food up back slowly, increasing my cardio, <clears throat> ugh, increasing my cardio up a little bit. And now I'm starting to lean down, but I'm staying at the same weight. But all my coaches have been watching me. They say I'm definitely looking a lot tighter, everything like that. So we're still on the right track. We're still looking pretty good. We got three weeks now to get as shredded as possible. I'm thinking we're probably about like the mid to the eight high sevens in this um, show. So I'm not really too sad about that. But right now what we're doing, just got done weighing myself and getting a little bit of ready. We're not gonna get too ready because I am about to go down and do some cardio, about 25, 30 minutes, really slight, just to get a little bit of my steps in. And then I'm going to head to the gym right after that, or cook breakfast right after that, and then head to the rise gym. Gonna be hitting some back and shoulders today. So pretty fucking hyped. But uh, yeah, so right now I need to finish cleaning my room first because I feel like if I make my bed, clean my room, start my videos and everything like that, it's gonna make me feel really productive. And especially since it's not even like light outside yet. So it's no reason for me to walk around and talk, but um, I'll see y'all while I'm doing my cardio and doing my kind of my monthly routine, I mean my morning routine. All right, homie, so it's currently like 7.30. I just got to our apartment gym. Looks pretty fucking, pretty nice, right? Um, but it's currently 7.30. And I'm probably gonna be here till about 8, 8, 8 15, and then that'll be perfect because right after I eat my breakfast, I'm gonna get ready again, like clean my face and shit, and then we're gonna head to the gym, go ahead and hit this workout. But you, this is kind of just like, yeah, for my cardio, but also for my steps. I'll probably knock out half of my cardio during this time as well. And plus, I was just so fucking bored. I was up at like 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm tired, and I'm hungry as shit. So I was like, you know what, I might as well keep myself busy so I don't eat. Um, too early because sometimes I <laughs> eat with like six o'clock six thirty and then I don't get to eat for another, like five six hours because I want to time my meals good so that's just like not a good time so I'm gonna go ahead and start my like warm up a little bit and then let's fucking knock this cardio out All right, King, so uh, we got done knocking out half our cardio in. We got 20 minutes, and then we just did a little bit of abs, and now I'm hungry as fuck, so I'm about to go back to the apartment, and this is a really bad echo. Go back to the apartment, go cook my breakfast, and then probably do a little bit of errands real quick, and then let's go get this fucking workout done, because I'm already tired, and it's literally not even 8.30 yet. All right, King, so we are now cooking our breakfast. Um, I'll show you my breakfast after I get done. I'm kind of crunching on time here. I think it's like 9 o'clock right now. I want to be at the Rise Warehouse, probably about a 10.30 to 11. So I'm about to eat my, well, I'm about to make my breakfast. I'm going to show you all what I have, show you how my diet's changed, and then let you all know kind of all the things going on. My diet's going to change again today. We're going to lower my cows, um, and I'll basically explain to you all later on, like, why we're doing this, why we're raising my calories and up my carbs and lower them again, so. All right, so this is what we got going on here. So I half scoop two proteins because this shit is gas. So Oreo cookie blast and then fucking peanut butter cup which is a gas combination. We got 105 gram banana, four and a half ounces of egg whites, and a full thing of helium mix. Way, way, way better than the last breakfast y'all saw me eat last uh, video of just two ounce, uh, two cups of egg whites. Even though it was very filling, it still just didn't have that like, I don't know, that taste factor. I was craving protein oatmeal. So I'm about to kill this shit. Then I'm gonna go wash my face, get ready again. And then we're gonna be out of here probably the next hour. All right, homie. So we just got back or we just left the crib. We got our fucking coffee, Vinci iced coffee, no classic sweetener, and five Splenda. All right, homie. So we just ate meal two. We chilled in the uh, chilled in the fucking playroom. I don't know what the hell they call it. And it is already like almost two o'clock. So we're gonna knock this workout out. And I have meal three, usually around like 3.30, 4.30. So that's definitely not gonna happen. I still got 30 minutes of cardio to do after this. And then I have to get this workout done. Uh, we're gonna do some shoulders and back. 
We might not be able to complete back too much today. We were supposed to be hitting legs today, but honestly, we got one leg day cut off since we're getting so close to comp and we're just trying to put on as much mass as possible. So I'm gonna hit a little bit of these shoulders first. And if I feel like I don't have enough energy to really put into back, then I'm just gonna fucking call it. And we're just gonna go head home and do our cardio first and then head home, get our meals in. And then we'll hit back tomorrow, especially since we don't have legs twice a week, so. Let's get into this. Your boy's already getting a little tired and like, let's lock this workout out. Uh, got done with cardio um, just did 25 minutes we did 20 minutes early this morning uh, get the blood going I definitely think I'm gonna start breaking it up in the parts because it makes it a lot easier for me and also it doesn't affect my training too much but overall pretty decent workout not too much of a pump um, I kind of expected that this week especially me being pretty depleted um, and I also waited a good like hour or two before I started training after meal two which is usually where all my carbs come from uh, so definitely fuck that up, but now we're about to head home and the cool thing is we're only on meal We're about to be on meal three and it's already like almost like 4 30 5 o'clock. I think I'm not too sure So I'm pretty hyped about that. I'll basically show you what my diet is um, Only one thing got changed today, but it was most of my carbs. I think like I got dropped like 60 carbs So yeah, it's gonna be one hell of a week, but I'm excited to see what these next two weeks are They're gonna be absolutely crucial. So we're gonna keep fucking killing this shit, baby. Only three more weeks and we're done. And, but if we make it to Nationals, we gotta go back to another 12 weeks of prep, which is gonna be ass, but it's worth it. I don't regret the decision. And uh, yeah, boys, see you when I get home. All right, boys, so we just got back home from the Rise Gym. Um, I am absolutely depleted. It is now five o'clock, literally on the dot. And I am only on meal three, so I'm a little behind, but that's perfectly fine because that means after I take a shower, because I usually would always take a shower right after this, but I am so fucking depleted and dead that my mouth is literally dry and watering just looking at this food. But we're starting to lower the carbs now. My carbs got dropped by 60 or 45, 50 this morning. Not too sure. I'm my, basically, my only carb source is my oats, which is two servings, and then also one cup of rice for the whole day. And this is what we're eating for meal three. So we got six ounces of chicken, and then we got uh, 62.5 grams of rice, which is gonna be half a cup, and then we have some sriracha, garlic, and salt. And then I need to chug like two of these because I'm low-key a little bit behind on water today. So this is like one of my meals. Meal, t Honestly, all three of my meals is like meals that I savor, really try to enjoy, because it's like the only thing that actually is good. Everything else is gonna be like asparagus and chicken for the rest of the night. Um, and then a yogurt at the end of the night with strawberries, which is like another kind of like snack, I would say. But yeah, I'm um, I'm struggling right now. It's not too bad. Uh, I knocked out the rest of my cardio. It's probably going to get kicked up this week, maybe, depending how everything goes um, and check-ins tomorrow. So I do believe that taking the French toast out and dropping my carbs a little bit more is going to really help me take a lot of this water retention out. And I'll probably see a good weight change in these next three days. So... I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna take a shower, chill for a little minute, and then I'll see y'all at meal four. 
All right, homies, so we are now on mil five. I for, literally forgot to record mil four just because I was hungry and I just lost track. I won't, I have prep, bro, so prep brain. So right now we are eating 200 grams of asparagus and six ounces of chicken. This is gonna be mil five, so we literally have only one more, one more meal left after this. And basically, that's really all that's changed. Uh, I used to have protein French toast, which is definitely my favorite meal out of the day. That and breakfast, I think breakfast takes it though because I love protein oats, excuse me. But uh, we're lowering my carbs, so we'll replace it with six ounces of chicken, 200 grams of asparagus, but I like it actually a little bit more even though I love French toast. But French toast was really, really good, but also it wasn't fulfilling. I had six ounces of chicken, 200 grams of asparagus, uh, so I didn't, I felt like literally right after that I could eat another, I could eat the meal five and meal six. Um, so literally right after this, we have one more kind of small meal and we'll be done for the night. And I believe it's already eight o'clock. So we're making perfect timing. Gonna eat again probably like an hour, eat my last meal. And I usually go to bed around like 9.30, 9.45 or I'm in bed at 9.30, 9.45. And um, yeah, homie. So after we get done with this meal, I'll basically be telling y'all what's my plan for these next two weeks, how everything's going, how I'm mentally doing on this prep. Um, and yeah, that's really gonna be all the video. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't had a lot of people in my video or I haven't been very talkative or energized or anything like that. I am severely depleted um, every day. And in the mornings I'm pretty good because that's where most of my carbs come from. But after I work out and do my workout, I'm like really depleted. Nor do I feel like socializing a lot or putting a lot of people in my videos and doing all kinds of crazy shit. Um, definitely after the prep, um, for at least for a few weeks or a month before I go into another prep for hopefully nationals if I go. I'll be a lot more energized and be collabing with a lot more people. But uh, my show will be in College Station, which is like basically almost in Houston. And I'll be with Italian and all them. So I'm pretty excited for that. So you will see some collabs coming up soon. Hopefully I can get a video with them. And uh, yeah, homie. So I'm going to crush this meal. And I'll see y'all meal six. <laughs> all right. So we're in our last meal of the night. It is currently, I think, 9 o'clock, 9.30. And I usually am in bed probably like right now because I'm trying to be in bed as early as possible so I can get as much sleep as possible. Even, even though your boy's not getting any sleep whatsoever just because we're so depleted and we're partially pretty lean right now. Uh, we're just fucking not getting good sleep, bro. Um, at like literally at all. Um, I'm probably falling asleep around like 9.30, 10.30. Waking up at like 1.30, 3.30 a.m. to like to pee because your boy's peeing two or three times a night because I'm drinking a shit ton of water. I'm drinking 10 to 12 helix mixes a day still. Uh, Code A for 12, uh, 20% off. Fuck. But uh, yeah, even when I take like sleep medication or sleep whatever the shit is, um, it just still doesn't help. So yeah, homie. So we are basically on our last meal. Like I said, then we're gonna try to go to bed. Uh, we actually have pretty high energy right now. Um, but this is what we're eating for our last meal of the night, which I low key like, but I don't like because it's like really small. So we got six ounces of chicken with some, uh, four ounces of chicken with some sriracha, 100 grams of strawberries, and then I've been switching up my yogurt flavors, just, you know what I'm saying, play around a little bit, same exact macro, so you know what, why not, and this is literally all we get to eat at the end of the night, and I need to fill this up, and I'm going to drink a full heel mix of water again, I'm trying to aim for another two more before I go to sleep tonight. If y'all wondering why I'm drinking so much water, it's because I am making sure that I'm not holding onto water. I want to still look relatively dry so we can get a good look at like how lean I actually am and for my fucking mental health because I feel like I'm not that shredded right now. But uh, yeah, this is basically what we're eating today. So carbs dropped today by 40 to 60. Uh, so we basically raised up my carbs for like three, four days because my body, my um, water, I was really like like holding a lot of water because my body was under so much stress from all the amount of cardio i was on like 1300 calories and working out i was completely exhausted dead like there would be some days i literally couldn't even talk to people um but everything's got a little better now ever, ever since we raised my food and my carbs i actually dropped down in weight now kind of relatively staying the same uh but we dropped a lot of water weight we look a lot tighter but now since my metabolism metabolism kick back in we are lowering the carbs just a little bit not too drastically and lowering the amount of foods my food chop my my calories probably dropped around like 300 today plus 45 minutes of cardio six days a week so in this next week i should be getting um pretty solid results off my cut um i definitely think we are going to be pretty lean on stage i'm pretty confident now at first i was kind of like skeptic uh just because i wasn't seeing any changes for the like past two two and a half weeks um but maybe it could have just been me i don't know uh, but yeah, I'm pretty confident. 
So uh, energy levels are definitely gonna drop throughout this week. I'll try to record another YouTube video probably Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, I don't have a laptop currently and Jay will be in Miami, so I'll probably edit off my phone. I'm gonna try to see what I can do. But I'm still trying to get for two YouTube videos a week, give you all updates on everything what's going on. And uh, I'm gonna make shit happen. But if you made it to this end of the video, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and sub to the channel. And uh, yeah, boys, next time you see me, I'll be even closer to stage. Just literally all I can think about. But love y'all so much. And hopefully next video you will see a big change in my physique. So peace out, kings.